you know, we're going to go in here. We're going to give the new game a shot. We're going to see what it has to offer. Take the story serious. And uh, I'm going to try to review this thing for RectifyGaming.com. Because I know a lot of people aren't going to take a look at this game. But fans of turn-based tragedy and classic 80s Japan animation, I know, will love this stuff. So hopefully it's good. It's fun. Fans of the series are welcome to come give me some advice. And uh, let's see what it has to offer for us. Okay? Okay? Gameplay recording is blocked. Thank God I can get around that. That's a strong opening right there. Guidance mode or main story? I'm going to go right for main story. I've played enough of these games now. Uh... Go standard mode. I mean, I'm not a pro enough to go right to expert. Standard. Standard should be good. Salary-centric working lady or a persevering salary man. Test pilot working at VTX Union Inc. He tends to be a bit too far, but does his best to see his work to the end. Things are no money, no honey with her, and she does her best for a fulfilling work and life. I don't know. I feel like a lady saying no money, no honey implies certain things in America that maybe in Japan they didn't think about. So let's just go with the persevering salary man. That's who I identify with. Uh, I'm gonna go with my uh, go with my name. Rodar Chen, and we're going to be known as the legendary warrior Nam B. Birthday. I don't know what my blood type is. I'll just leave it at A. And I think we're ready to go. Everyone ready? Let's do the damn thing. said any questions uh anybody has feel free to ask me kore wa jinrui shi ni okeru ouki na tenkan ki no monogatari sono jidai jinrui wa taihai no naka ni take the story serious ogon no jidai to yobareta hangyei to yashin no suju de Gaiuchi 
から腐り始めた世界は果てしない戦いの場となっていった新宇宙歴200年大敗と諦めが支配する黄昏の時代人類は新たな戦いを迎えようとしていた That's the, usually the store I go to for、uh, Asian games when I want English. I never made a Singapore account. Although I heard it's cheaper to do it than the way I did it. So. Okay, we're back. Masaki. Uh, so the price. The price in the Hong Kong store was about, uh. About $70 American. I'd say. The t e r a n a d o is a serious machine, but it's also a seriously unruly ride. Okay, we're getting right into the action. Thank you, Rix. Five z e c t a r s The t e r r a n a d o can do. A new project in front of the president, my boss, and my team counting on me. A little bit of broken English. Bayonet. Who thought this wild stallion? All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of nice, fun English in this game. I can't wait. Sprite work is second to none, man. I love this series and I love their sticking with 2D art. Get all our stats. Better animation music as the mech theme song or the squad theme song. Custom or individual. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. I like that you can choose all that stuff.
let's try to counter this guy. Game visual style is fantastic. So fast forward. Yes, you can. All the old controls still work. For anybody wondering about that, it's still in there. Level up hype of the day. What's the kind of accuracy this thing's gonna have from that far away? Uh, nothing. That's what I thought. Look how sick that was. I know like later on everyone just turns off animations and you're just playing for the strategy at that point, but I love to take them in and appreciate like the excellent uh, sprite work that they do for everything. God, I should be able to destroy this dude. guy Next time I stream this, I'm going to have the camera placed a little lower so you can see their portraits without me in the way. In fact, actually, what I'll do is, uh, I don't know, I'll keep it like this for now. Say, at least the beginning of this game is a lot more energy than uh, the last game. Not that it was like a slower, boring game, but I felt like the whole magic approach and stuff, it kind of felt, it felt like it took a while to get going. 
plot-wise. This feels a lot more vibrant and like kind of not quick pace, but a little bit more energy, a little bit more gusto, if you will. Hirosuke Hamasaki. Doing really good at the bosses right now in the meeting. Oh, this music though. Hear those horns? God damn, it's so goddamn smooth in this motherfucker right now. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cuss like that, but. I'm just really feeling it. Fifty thousand. Do my best Chris Tucker impersonation. Fifty million dollars. Okay, here we are. We have a lot of stuff to look at here. Holy Christ. I feel like second attack's not gonna be that useful because you're always gonna be fighting stuff usually harder than you are. Yeah. I'm gonna go support attack. anymore save it that way we don't have to do that over again when I first played Super Bowl Wars I didn't realize there was no auto save and I played for like three hours turned it off without thinking about it and I uh, was very sad I was a sad boy when I came back it was uh, not a good day um, I mean, I'm not gonna have much, right? So we can put that on. That's probably all I'll have for now. Let's go right to the next uh, map, next stage, if you will. Now, I know the game is available on the Switch, and I've heard good things about the port, which is uh, pretty nice.
The beast in the necktie? That's a weird rep to carry. I feel like SRW's always been like half visual novel, half turn-based tactical strategy. Chan manager of special section three. That's me. Hi, everybody. Peace in the necktie. That's right, so we're meeting the crew like right up front. No talking bird this time. Feeling it. All right, independent contracting. I know a tiny bit about this. came in with that brand new the new guy introduction she's like super cheerful and you're like no you don't you're not gonna be that cheerful you work here for six months oh, my thing's blocking hold on I can see the names now it out he is not feeling this situation right now could you be any blunter wow arguing already what is happening right now why is everyone fighting Uh 
It's never just a fire alarm, new girl. Ah, she's gonna be the partner for the two-seater. Got it. The Tyranado or the Tyranado? Tyranado? It's a uh, tornado. You're in the tornado with me. Freaking out. Battles happen on the battlefield, everybody. Enemies approaching. Anyway, I kind of like the main character in this game. He's kind of confident. He's not all like, eh. no, he, he's kind of a dickhead. All right.
Damn. You don't try to do a good job. You do a good job. And NAMD is, is in charge. I like it. Heal and she can evade. Okay. Good you guys got for us. Got a new enemy here. I'm curious to see what they do. You guys can't hear that. Maybe you could hear that. We got new fire extinguishers yesterday, and they said they're gonna test them today. Scared the shit out of me. But we're back. <laughs> what the hell is that craziness? Sorry about that. Hope it didn't blow your ears out, everybody. Probably did though. Blew mine out. Uh, can't do any X action yet. Get right up on this guy. Oh wow, I can't hit anywhere in the map. VTX the new attack we got. ミスに that was a sick attack. This guy the leader? messing with. I don't like when relationships are one-sided. Chucky! Up main is SRW, you were able to stun them, and I don't yeah, you can see like the entire like back plate of his design 
it absolutely looks like he can just star scream his ass and just dip. 100%. Uh, no, we're gonna win that fight. I didn't see it. I'm sure, like, especially if the whole storyline is, hey, we are in a company and we're gonna have a lot of test products, then I feel like there's gonna be advanced forms for sure. There has to be. Federation. Twilight Age, okay. Absolutely betting mid-game upgrade is jet toll mode 100% I am in agreement I said I hope everyone's enjoying the stream I am NOT an SRW veteran by any means. I came in with SD generation Gundam then transitioned to SRWX I've always known of the games. I've had a couple of friends who were always really into them so you guys will probably know a little bit more than me. So anything I can do game-wise to inform you, uh, feel free to let me know. Whoa. You look sick. Oh, you can't get on the Singapore store? Really? Oh my god. Great messenger! Yeah, I had to, like I said, I have a Hong Kong account, PSN account, and that's always where I get my Asian region games. They usually have Chinese and English language options available. Oh, uh, Tetsuya. Super Toast. No, Meryl is not the female protagonist. That's so sick. See, this character, Nam D, there's an alternate, uh, an alternate character you could pick that would be the female protagonist. You get your choice up front of who you want to use. But it's a mostly all female crew on the ship. female crew you can you can handle that you're good with that okay uh, hmm. oh wow he's not gonna yeah, he did leave for a long time in X, I feel like. Oh, 
ところで死んでたまるものかよさあチョコから動き回りやがって階段テストを実践でするつもりはない。The um, thing I like about these games is that you don't really see a lot of like turn based strategy anymore, right? I mean, look what just happened to Front Mission.、Uh, I know there's a lot of Front Mission fans out there in the world. I am one of them. And it saddens me that that game got turned into a third rate, fourth rate, you know, stealth game clone. Alright, let's see what he can do here with his attack. Got absolutely smoked. All right, I'm going to take a look at the beginning attacks 100%. You played Front Mission 4 and got hooked? Dude, Front Mission games are awesome. I just use that for fun. Yeah, I think that's what it said. Yeah, it sure is, it seems like in this game. That theme song. Whoa, that attack! That was sick. Pose. I mean, there's so much style all over the place. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, any any company who is going to keep 
this style of game going. And I know that they, you know, the newest games may not be the best, and I know that there's going to be people who may have their issues with the new game. There may be a franchise left out that's not in there. But for me, I can't even really judge the games on that level because I'm just so appreciative. And in today's video game space, so happy that games like this are somehow still getting made at all, period. So I'm just trying to like, each one that comes out, I just want to like appreciate it, you know, and just take it in. No attack. So stylish, man. I love it. I really do. Yeah, like I said, it's just really cool. Like, and I, I totally agree with you guys. Making the English version, there's, they could have easily skipped on making an English version. And the fact that they did, that we in America here and you know places like Europe and stuff can still play the game and enjoy it. South America, I'm super appreciative of that. Like, they did not have to do that. They don't really benefit from doing it, honestly. Um, so, uh, I work for a website uh, down bottom called Rectify Gaming, and normally I cover the big games, you know, Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, um, Apex Legends, you know, all the traditional AAA, big budget, big blockbuster stuff. So, I figure now that I have this platform and I'm working for a bigger site, I want to try to bring attention to games like this that you're not going to see covered on... IGN or GameSpot, things like that, because these games have a fan base. I don't care how small it is, right? Like everyone is a fan, they want to see things about it, they want to know about it. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in Asia and Japan that is really good that doesn't get a lot of mainstream exposure. It's flat out, so... I'm excited to uh, be reviewing this uh, for us. Move it out with some jam.
So the music here is incredible. Somehow I just poured a drink. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh oh, mysterious figure here. Who's very obviously the character in my party. Okay, they're not trying to hide it. gonna betray us is this gonna be a top 10 animal animal anime betrayal top 10 animal betrayals I would actually like to see that video get made number one would have to be Lion King right and Scar takes Mufasa and tosses him into the stampede that has to be number one animal betrayal hands down the following bonus scenarios are now available to play. Present T special starter pack. Okay. So I only have Tetsuya out of all those characters. Oh wow, so you can't... Huh. So everything's bracketed. Um, I don't know how deep these, this DLC goes. We're gonna have to explore that as we get to it. Do a quick save. Um, I am, uh, I am super sorry, guys. I have to head out. My landlord, I got a text on my phone. I need to let some people in so they can take a look at the apartment. I am so, so sorry. However, if you follow me on here, I'll be back later tonight, if not tomorrow. And I'll probably do the DLC and take a look at that. Tookie and Super Toast, thank you so much for hanging out and, uh, helping me out here. I want to upload this on YouTube and have the whole bot up. I just got to take care of some real life stuff, unfortunately. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, so far, so good. I feel like the first hour is um, much better than it was before. It's much more like vibrant, upbeat. I like the corporate angle. I like the style of the main character. He feels confident in a way that is unusual for any kind of GRPG, let alone an SRPG. Um... So I gotta do this stuff. Uh, real quick, did I have to mess with making or sending to Singapore Asian and PSN? So all I did is I went into, I have a Hong Kong account and I pre-ordered the game like two days ago and it came with all that DLC as like a pre-order bonus. Now I don't know if they're gonna be selling more DLC stuff, but it all just came with it and it says like, if you buy the game within the first two weeks, you'll get access to everything. So all I did is I logged in, bought it, everything downloaded, and now I'm playing on my actual North American account. So that's how it is. So that's, that's what I did. I think the window may still be up. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was able to pre-order it digitally, but you guys can't just normally buy it. That seems weird. Seems like a mistake. Um, 
What I will do is I'll email them because they have their press email that I use to contact them with. And I'll see what's going on with that and try to bring you guys some feedback. So follow me on Twitter. Same name as my Twitch, Nanatox, and my YouTube. Thank you guys so much. Anihi, you're right. More Devil May Cry later on. And uh, have a good one, everyone. Thanks for checking this out. So far, really liking it much more than I did last time in the first 60 minutes. So have a good one. Until next time.